everybody. This is Al Phillips with A3 Digital Studio. Today I'm going to show you uh, something, uh, basically how to make some money um, converting uh, forms uh, that your customers may have. Uh, like right now I'm dealing with an employment uh, form. Uh, you may have forms with different, you know, a, a lot of small businesses deal in forms. And if they're still filling out physical forms, you could make money by by showing it, by showing them and actually doing it for them. Um, converting their uh, handwritten forms into digital forms where someone can uh, actually download it online fill it out at home at their leisure and then they can email it back to them already saved and filled out and uh, so that that can save a ton of time uh, for for them and their custom and their customers so anyway I'm going to show you how to do this uh, with a program that many people don't know anything about and that program is Libra Office and so I have the Libra Office Suite down here. Uh, it's free, so you don't have to pay anything for this. You can just go to LibraOffice.org, uh, I, I, I believe, and uh, you could uh, download it. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use Libra Office Draw. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm show you what's going on. All right, so with this... <clears throat> When they gave me their forms, it was in a Word document. So I'm going to go to that Word document. I do not have Word on my laptop because uh, basically I just never felt I needed it. I'm, I'm, I, I always use Google um, Docs and, uh, and, and also LibreOffice. So uh, I didn't want to uh, pay the expense of buying Microsoft Office when when these free tools are available and uh, and and this tool is probably a lot more powerful than uh, Office uh, Microsoft Office that's my opinion uh, you can also do this with Adobe uh, but you have to purchase uh, that that ability you can't do it with Adobe Reader so for a free tool. Uh, Libra Office uh, is such a needed and necessary uh, for your desktop if you're working on the desktop. Anyway, so I'm going to get off that little soapbox and then I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing here. So uh, let's let's just go to back to this. So when they when they when I downloaded the application, it was in a, a Word document. So for, me, for all my Word documents, uh, they uh, convert into this. Uh, it looks like Libra. So so this if if this doesn't look like something you're used to, that's because I use Libra and I don't use Word. So anyway, when I open it up, this is what it looks like. All right. So this is Libra Office Writer, and this is what uh, their um, form looks like it's an employment form so I'm not going to do it in this uh, because the tools are kind of this set up a lot different you want to do this project in Libra Office draw so I just shows that so you have to convert this to a PDF all right and I'm going to show you how to convert it for free the office into a PDF so you just go to file then you go to export directly as PDF. That's all you have to do, and mm -hmm. it will uh, it will export. So all I wanted to show you is if you need to export it, turn that into a PDF document, export directly as a PDF. So that's what this is here. That's the PDF. So now that I, and it's two pages. And so what I'm going to show you when you export, when you uh, import this, so to speak, you just hit open. So you open it and 
this is the this is it here. I'm hoping you seeing all of this. And they'll bring it in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something uh, because uh, when I first did this, it did not allow me to see uh, both pages. It only allowed me to see one. So in order for you to see all the pages that's in the PDF, you have to make sure that your view is on and that you hit page pane. Otherwise, you will not know how many pages is in the form, and that's not good. You definitely want to see how many pages the form, because the, 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 a form could have several pages. All right? So that's that. Let's move to the next thing. The next thing is that the logo on here is different. And so what I'm going to do is replace this logo with the new logo, and uh, yes, A3 Digital Studio, work with them to upgrade their logo, and I'm going to show you what it is. You just go to Replace down here, click it, and then uh, the logo should be here somewhere. This is the new logo here. Bob, put that in. What you want to do is change the view so that you're a lot big, bigger. So the way you change the view is you go to view, go down to zoom, and I usually choose 150. That way I can see the whole document. All right, so uh, the document from edge to edge. So you go to tools, form, and then you pull that out. And most of the time the form already comes uh, you know not attached to the to the uh, the bar up here so you don't have to worry about trying to put it into the bar you can put it in the bar if that's what you like but most of the time it's it, it, it really doesn't come attached but you if you like it up there you can put it up there just the way you saw me do it you want to make sure that design mode on the form is selected uh, because what that's going to do, that's going to open up all of these channels for you. And these are what you're going to use uh, to turn this form into a fillable document on behalf of your customer. So let's get in there and let's just do the first top, the, the <laughs> excuse me, the application information. And then uh, that's and it's going to go so on and so forth from there. Uh, so I'll show you how this is done so with this all you're doing is you finding the corresponding uh, item uh, so with the last name you see that that's just a fillable uh, single line it's not a duck it's not multiple lines uh, like writing a paragraph all of these most of these are going to be single line and then uh, a lot of them are going to be check mark boxes that uh, that you could use so Let's get into it. We're we'll going to do the first. We're just going to do this top. Now, how you want to do this is you want to start with the first thing that you want them to fill out. Because uh, the tab, when they fill it out and hit tab, is going to go in the order that you put it in. So you go. To, so the first thing that they need to fill out is last name. That's the first thing that you use. When the second thing is the first name, that's what you. That's what you use. Here they're going to ask for the middle initial. You put that right in there. Here they need a date. So you go up and find the date field. You click on that. And you put that right here. So that first line is done. Uh, the address. All right. Let's get that in. And we can move rather quickly with that. Uh, same with the uh, apartment unit. Okay. Uh, city, state, zip. There's a city here. State. Let them put that in because I'm not going to put 50, 50 different states in there. They use a drop down. That would be nice, but I'm not going to do it. Sorry. <laughs> Just, I mean, I need to, I need to show you. You going to watch me do that? No, you're not going to watch me do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I probably should show you how it could be done. 
but let's do that so I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna show you how it could be done um, and you use a combo box or a list box so I'm gonna use a combo box and I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna show you how to fill that combo box out and so you would do that and then you would double uh, you would hit control properties on it and uh, with this combo box and so you will go down and you would look at list entries. See that? With, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to show you by going in and just exporting that out as a PDF uh, directly. And then I'm going to show you, and I'm going to just say test. Call it a test form. All right, just to show you. Save. All right, so I'm going to go in here pull out this test form I hope you can see this uh, so that you see what it looks like when it opens it, all of these see that uh, that's beautiful that's just beautiful you know you can just go in and you can type it but but see what I'm saying uh, so let's go in here and look when they click on there Ah, it didn't do it in a straight line. Whoa, something didn't do right. Yeah, I don't, that's not the way that's supposed to go in there. Uh, sorry about that. Wow, I'm glad that this happened. Let's go in there. Let's delete that. So, no. Uh, let's delete this form. And let me go in and put it in the... The, the right way so just to show you how to do that wow Al okay so you go back to control the form let's go in here uh, where the entries were uh, there it is I am sorry people the way you do that is you have to put it in as like this Ohio then hit enter then put, you know, let's say, let's spell it all out. Ohio, then put Texas, and then put um, Alabama. Okay, and uh, hit OK, like that. Okay, so now let's do it. <laughs> I'm showing you a whole lot more. You know, y'all getting a whole lot for the money. Now it's playing. Uh, but so go ahead and save it export directly as a PDF and then hit test again and let's see is my hypothesis my hypothesis is correct so we go back hit test and let's go directly to that and now yes it pop up you see how it goes yeah so that's how you do a drop down if you're gonna do a drop down in a digital form so you see how it opens in Acrobat reader automatically so so what they'll do is once the form is filled out all they have to do is hit save save it under a different name or save it up in the, in, and uh, send it as an email and it's all done alright so let me erase the test and let me finish this and we can finish the video so What would you charge and y'all could leave that information in the video you know what would you charge somebody to do this because um, this you got to think about your time and, and you got to think about you know each page uh, you, you want to be tracking your time and how long it's going to take and then you want to give them you want to give them an invoice you know for this so if if you uh, I'm curious to wonder what would you charge uh, for for something like that. Uh, I have different um, 
I charge based on uh, the amount of time that they needed. Uh, once after I got in some information, you know, if they need that form like right away, like yesterday, then it costs more. And, and uh, so I, I, I have several different variables that I use to come up with a price. And for, and for the most part, I charge them for my time. You know, my consultant time is $75 an hour. So some of it, y'all, if you want to use that, or if you want to use, you know, maybe a 45 to 50 bucks an hour or something, but you have to decide what your time is worth. And you may have to negotiate that with the customer as well. So that's just something to think about. Uh, let me hear what you think about the video and what I'm teaching and what I'm doing. Just please, 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 I need to hear from you. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more information like this. I thank you for listening. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.